What does it mean to be an American? It's not a specific origin, or a color, or a class, but a spirit. America boasts a population of remarkable people that make her great, and not all of them started their journeys on American soil. The majority of immigrants that, that came to this country legally, it's because they knew what the, the American dream is, and they knew what America means. We appreciate this country because we know what it's like to live in a country where we don't have those opportunities and we don't take it for granted. We're gonna do anything to make sure the United States never falls into the hands of those people that destroy my country. The values of the United States are recognized by people from other nations who dream of a better life. If done right, immigration will only strengthen us and better allow for all Americans to pursue the American dream. America is still the land of opportunity more than any other place, for sure. There is definitely no other country where I could have done this, immigrant or not. Elon Musk. Beginning all the way back with the arrival of the Mayflower in 1620, our nation has always been a land of immigrants. Long before such a term even existed, people were coming here to pursue their American dream. For those who grew up in the United States, it has become so easy to take individual liberty for granted, but America is still recognized today as a refuge by those yearning to breathe free. Life in Venezuela was a little bit tough. When Maduro won the election, I graduated from high school a month after I came to the United States. It was hard to say bye to my family because I didn't know when I was gonna see them again but it was the best decision that I ever made. Being able to express myself and being able to know what freedom of speech is. Tell people what I thought about how socialism has destroyed my country, tell my story. I wouldn't have been able to do that back in Venezuela. I can speak to why my grandfather and, and his wife came to America and it was they couldn't provide the life for their family in uh, Poland that they felt they could in America. They saw the freedoms that America was providing to people. That meant a great deal to them, that they could come here and, and try to use their skills and capabilities to build a better life for their family. It cost everything they had. In fact, my grandfather had to come and then two years later bring his, his wife over because they, could, they couldn't afford to both come at once. Talking about the Hispanic side, like there's so many Hispanics that have come to this country legally and like, we see them right now in Congress. Uh, we see Mayra Flores in Congress and she's Hispanic. She's an example of how the American dream is still alive and how coming to the United States in the legal way works. I was born in Burgos, Tamaulipas, Mexico. I'm blessed to come here to the United States when I was six years old and both my parents were uh, migrant uh, workers and I started working alongside my parents as well at 13 years old. This is a land of opportunities. The opportunity to work hard and to accomplish anything you want in, in this country. Those of us born here and those of us who have come here, uh, we're fortunate to live in a wonderful country that offers opportunity. We can talk ourselves into how bad it is or we can recognize how very fortunate we are. You know, if we were this horrible, racist country that they try to say we are, with just built-in unfairness in every aspect of our country, why would people be forming caravans trying to get in here? And when they got in here, wouldn't they call all their friends and relatives and say, don't come here, this is the worst place ever? That's not what's happening at all. In fact, more people are coming. Immigration's a really complicated issue when you think about a country like America that's so successful. And I wish other people could have that same thing. The problem is if America just opens its borders and says, okay, everybody just come here, they will. And there's no way to manage that. I'm a benefit of, uh, of immigration, and I think immigration is absolutely critical to our future but it needs to be legal immigration, it needs to be managed properly. A meritocracy should play into that. People should not come here for free things. They should come here because they want to build a better life, that they believe in meritocracy. Some people would say, well, that's harsh. Well, unless you're gonna solve seven and a half billion people's problem, ignoring those realities is silly. What we have to figure out at this point, how do we continue to make the American dream 
a reality for people, but still maintain the integrity of our borders and our system. I think it's very important that we focus on immigration reform, but it starts with border security. For you to be able to come here to the United States illegally, these immigrants have to pay thousands of dollars to criminal organizations. They go through so much abuse. Children go through so much abuse. So if we care about immigrants, we need to focus on legal immigration, how to improve the legal process. So good immigrants that want to come here to work hard for the American dream can do it, but legally. If you have real leadership in our political system, they can solve these problems, you know, or immigration issues that we have. They're not systematic of a failed system. They're systematic of failed leadership. America serves as a golden door for those that respect our nation's sovereignty and the system that provides opportunity for us all. So many have come to value American principles after witnessing the heavy-handed governments of their own homelands. Being in the United States means opportunities and freedom. In socialism, you don't own anything. The government owns you, and they own everything you have. I have a great admiration for Ken Langone, and he says he likes to put these young socialists on his private airplane, take him to Venezuela and Cuba, and show him what communism and socialism is all about. So it's strange, but the people in the country are complaining about the country, and the people outside the country want to come here. I went through it. I know what it is. You don't want it here. I will do anything to protect this country, to make sure that it never gets here, because once it gets here, it's not like we can be like, oh yeah, we're gonna have socialism this year, we're gonna try it out, and maybe next year, if we don't like it, we'll, we'll get rid of it. Look at uh, uh, Florida. How the Cubans, which are industrious, hardworking people, have come to America from Cuba. Basically, they are voting uh, for a capitalistic system. They want opportunity. They're willing to work hard. They want the opportunity to work hard and be rewarded. Legal immigration is very important. If we stop immigration, it's going to hurt us all. So many of them come here, again, to work hard. We have a serious labor shortage in this country, and they're not afraid to do any work in, in this country, so it's, it's important. This generation is the generation that will be fighting for those rights until the day they die. Now that I came to the United States, I have freedom of speech, I have opportunities, because I never had that, and, and I, had it, I have it now. I don't want to lose it. Like one thing that I always say is that I don't have the time to pack my bags and go to another country, because if we lose freedom in the United States, there's no other country to go to. There's just nothing, like if we lose the United States, we lose everything. The strength of America exists in the skills, talents, and character of her people. But that strength is threatened when we choose identity politics over meritocracy. My father was enormously proud to be a Polish American, but he was an American first. And the beauty of America historically is that we're a melting pot. Polish Americans weren't immediately embraced into our society. Irish Americans, Italian Americans, German Americans, they all went through a period where they had to find their foundation, if you will, in their place. It's, it's, again, it's part of human nature. Something different takes a while to get used to. But now we're actually trying to turn the clock back and say, okay, let's separate everybody again. And I think it's fine for people to respect their heritage, but if you're an American citizen, that's first. The United States is a country of immigrants. We've faced waves and waves of immigration. But what, if you look at that, what's common is that America's always attracted the best and the brightest from across the world. These are people who have left their homelands because they want to achieve something better for themselves. So if that's what your focus is on immigration, is bringing in those who are going to immediately be contributing to your economy, that makes us all strong. America's perseverance has never yet failed. It has seen our nation through the trials of our past, but will it be enough to get us through the threats to our future?